All right. <laughs> well, what did you name the title of this? I ain't even seen. It's okay. You don't, you don't have to know. <laughs> Queen of the Golden Days. <laughs> so today we <laughs> we are indulging in no golden berries. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to feed them to me. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> that accent has to go. I don't even know where it came from. We have golden berries. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Cape Gooseberries. Gooseberries? <laughs> Tell us about them. They look like little tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like little tomatoes. <laughs> Ew, look at it. <laughs> Where'd you even find these, babe? At Sprouts. Mm. What is that smell? All right, let's 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 talk about it. All right. <laughs> By the way, we are in our new home doing this new video. Um, we're not going to give you a tour this time. But as you can see, our background is a little different. And uh, we got a little bit of better lighting in here, babe. Don't you think? Yes, I do. What do you think? <laughs> I hope you do think. Uh, how does he smell? Leafy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Sweet. Nah, they don't smell sweet. They smell real leafy. Well, these are the Peruvian Cape Gooseberries, also Cape known berries. as the Golden Berry. And. They, what were we saying? Um, the weird thing about them. Oh, they are hermaphrodites, which I'm very scared to uh, eat this or have her eat this because I don't want any extra growths. <laughs> I don't know if you can just be born a hermaphrodite or if you can bite a hermaphrodite plant. A hermaphroditus plant <laughs> and grow a hermaphrodite. <laughs> hermaphrodite. Ah, I got you out of your. your I got no. you out of your. No, I got you out of your accent. Hello. <laughs> Why you got an English accent and this is from Peru? <laughs> because I feel royal. Well, eating I golden fruit. <laughs> I'm <What>? not wearing gold. <laughs> Because I have not unpacked yet, <laughs> and I took what I could find, but <laughs> I still feel royal. <laughs> well, actually, it says that um, the, uh, what you call it, it's been cult cultivated in England since the late 18th century. Oh, see? So. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else about these things? There's a description. Oh, it's closely related to the tomatillo, and I can tell. I can see that. Because when you buy tomatillos, they look like this. They're round, but they look leafy green. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, tomatoes, I guess, are considered a fruit, I guess. Right? Technically. Well, this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they are related to the tomato, the eggplant, and the potato. Which is weird. And <laughs> members of the <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> nice shade. <laughs> Let's try them. What do you do with them? You put them in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> do I take these leaves off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you eat the leaves? I think you eat the leaf. No. Oh, it's a husk. That's what it's called. Not a leaf, a husk. All right, the fruit is a round, smooth berry <laughs> resembling a miniature tomato. Oh, where is my little fork? No, you don't need that little fork. <laughs> my I little mean, royal little fork. fork. <laughs> you cussed. Ready? Jingo bells, Batman <laughs> smells. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> He's a little smaller, but. What did it taste like? Tomato? Ooh. That 
face you just made. Yeah, it's sour. Like a pie? Pie? It's sour. I just taste it, unless that's your breath heating the stem. Maybe a little like a tomato, but sweeter. It's like it's supposed to be a pie or something. Hmm. Actually, that's, it is an interesting taste. Dang. I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's like a grape, a sour wild grape. Y'all know them grapes that grow on the east side of Austin, <laughs> in, in East Austin? Y'all know the wild grape vines to all my hood people in there. Two one represent. Anyway, though that's what these taste like. Those little unripened grapes on that vine. It has that that taste to it. I wish they were a little bit sweeter, then they would taste kind of like a loquat. But I like them. I think it's pie. I wouldn't eat no sour pie like that. It's too tangy. Let me try it again. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have one. <laughs> Let's see how long your tongue is. <laughs> Come on, can you reach it? <laughs> no, you can't go for it. <laughs> ah! Stop it! Hey, don't bite my finger, you got big choppers. <laughs> That's not a pie, baby. That's too tangy. In the beginning, this was that was. <laughs> are we preaching the Bible now? It reminds me of something. Ugh, I can't eat too many of them though. They probably would be good in salad though. Let's see other ways. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uses. All right. It doesn't say. Oh, sauces, fruit-based sauces, pies, puddings, See? chutneys, jams, and ice cream. Or eaten fresh in salads and fruit salads. So, yeah. So you guys can make pudding out of these little pudding pops. <laughs> <laughs> so, I look way shorter than you today. <laughs> so fruit based sauces pies puddings chutneys what's chutneys I heard that before I don't know oh stop it <laughs> jams <laughs> ice cream I ain't finna have no uh, golden berry ice cream that might be good though a little tanginess or eating in salads and Fruit salads. All right. Because of the fruit's decorative appearance, it is showy. See. <laughs> it is showy See? husk. It is popular in restaurants as an exotic garnish for desserts. I've never seen these a day in my life. What restaurants are they serving these at? <laughs> we must ain't got the money for that. <laughs> oh, it make you boo boo. <laughs> it makes you boo boo. It's enhanced, to enhance its food uses, hot air drying improves qualities of dietary fiber content. Hot air drying, what does that mean? You I don't know. Put it under blow dryer? No, baby. Really? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're spinning me, I can't see the camera. Thank you. Girl, I'll make you busy anyhow. <laughs> All right. Nutrients. Whoa, they're not good for humans. No, I'm just kidding. Look. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even pronounce these nutrients. What is linoleic acid? It's got a lot of acid in it. Beta carotene. I know what that is. Uh... I don't know the rest of this. Theamine, vitamin it's, C. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. So, but it's good for you. Yeah, it is. What? So I don't A closely related, it's one called 
Phasalis pubescens. It's a closely related species. <laughs> Sprouts are noticeably less hairy. It makes sense. <laughs> because they're pubescent, they don't have hair on their berries. <laughs> this says it right here. Okay, so. Those are some are, smooth berries. <laughs> they're okay. These are golden berries. Gooseberry. Gooseberry. Baby, what is that accent? Please tell me. <laughs> and why do you keep going up an octave at the end of the word? Gooseberry? No, you sound like a witch <laughs> on the witches. <laughs> Where were they They're going? okay. I would like to taste them in a dish. A dish? A, di <laughs> a dish. Baby, stop the accent because I can't understand. This is all sounding disgusting. <laughs> I would like to taste them in a dish. Uh, possibly, uh, <laughs> possibly a salad or a pie, and maybe it would be better. Gooseberry pie. Gooseberry pie. Would anyone care to, to, to share? One? <laughs> would share. anyone care to share gooseberry pears? They're okay. And the pubescent ones with no hairs. <laughs> what shall we eat next? I know I'm about to make me some chili beans tonight. With some collard greens, with some mixed greens. Also fibrous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they the magical fruit. So we'll see. And some cornbread. What we have next. Mm. Okay. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> not my accent. <laughs> well, we don't know what the hell you're 